meeting to order. Let's, can I have anybody look at the minutes from June 18th? Hopefully everybody did. And any changes, or can I have a motion to approve them? Motion to approve. That's Second. Approved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, does um, Denise get to vote, or should she abstain? I can never remember. Because she wasn't here then. She was on the committee then? No. Then she, yeah, she, would she has to be on the committee to vote. She, had to, she, would, she didn't have to be here, but she would have had to different. have been on the committee, though. Okay. So you'll abstain from that? Okay. okay. That one. All right. Uh, financial statements. Do you have the agenda? Okay. So the warrants are on the table over there. Uh, there are... Um, oh, I didn't include the numbers, did I? Unless they're on the front of that folder. So do you want the yeah. amount of the total amount of oh it is on here. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't yep. see it down below. Um eighty nine thousand nineteen dollars and forty four cents are presented for your signature. One warrant just over nine thousand is for FY nineteen encumbrances. So those will need signatures. Thank you for that. Uh, for FY19, the end of year closeout process is complete, uh, and the encumbrances we're carrying over to FY20 equal $35,324.14. Uh, that just means that there were bills at the close of FY19 that were not yet paid, so we carry them over to 20 as a liability, but it does not impact the 20 budget at all. Like um, the rollover of school choice funds for Conway is $274,726. <coughs> of which um, 36,736 was actually from last year's school choice funds, and then there's $211,026 from prior years. <coughs> wow, I did not realize we had that much. Uh, and then I'm working on the DESE end of year report, which is due October 1st. Uh, and then for FY20, the warrant total is already presented. Uh, the expense report is also attached. There's not a lot of activity to report on right now. Primarily salaries is what you will see posted with some expenditures. Uh, you will notice that there are a few accounts in the negative already. <coughs> that is because there needs to be some account changes. Um, when I first started, I found some issues with the GL account codes that were inputted by my predecessor. So I was working to fix those, thought we had them fixed until the report generated. So I'll be working with Brenda tomorrow. To, it's simply moving money into the appropriate account. We're not actually negative anywhere at this point. You know, just, it's just the, the, your immediate predecessor needed different categories than his, his immediate pre predecessor, and then that immediate predecessor needed all different categories from her immediate predecessor. Well, some of what... Would you like some different categories? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of those changes are relative to Desi redoing the, yes. the chart of accounts, so that's part of the reason why Mark and Judy needed some different accounts um, put in, but there was a little bit of confusion around what was a Conway expense versus a shared expense for Frontier, and so some of those numbers got messed up. So I'm fixing that, um, and then I'll clean up these last few there. Um, and then I'm, I'm going through that budget document that they created with a fine tooth comb, making sure that all the formulas are in place. Uh, I met with Kristen to go over the staff already and make sure that we have everybody where they need to be and that things are in alignment for this year. Now, what happens if we don't have a contract that we, would we back pay a raise? So do we have that money set aside? Yes, no, I have to put through an executive session to give you the answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I was wondering, generically, not so currently, specifically. Right, because so currently the, they're running off of last year's contract, but we did implement steps. Um, okay. Okay. In the school choice, while you said it's just a little bit over a year in the rear. Okay. And so that mean we're in a good spot with school choice. So right. I just want to, because when you look at the first number, you go, ah, but when you really look at it, we're just taking that money. We're always making sure we're a year ahead. Right. Like it's a, it's a double protection. And we're the only we're the only school that does. No, that. Deerfield's also in good <coughs> shape, but Wheatley and, and Sunderland are not, and is is as good a shape with that. And they don't have the protections that Conway has for a 
you know, you have the protection to protect yourself if there's a, any kind of major movement in student needs or that kind of thing. Right. Um, so you want to kind of keep that number. We want to keep spending a year in arrear. And so actually, it actually has us eating away at it if you look at those cherry sheet numbers next year. So it's, you know, yeah. you know, it's not like we have to correct it. There's no real thing, but it's not. Perfect would be there. Cherry sheet's even larger than their expenses. Right. You know what I mean? Um, but it's, you know, her estimated expense of brother coming in is, is large. But you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So. So I just keep commenting on what you said earlier. Wow, but it's not really a wow because people well, at home are cushion. people at home are like, wow, that's a lot of money. It's not really. You, right. It's always the best practice is to hold it and spend a year and a year. Right. Um, right. Well, I remember when a student moved into Frontier with like a five hundred thousand no cost share or some crazy number. It was three hundred thousand. Like yeah. Which. Suddenly there's, prote happen. there's protections, but not complete protection. Right. So. But people don't realize that something like that, totally out of the blue, that you don't see, can totally tank your budget. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Any questions on the finances? Do you have any, any read mm -hmm. on um, the, what the E and D refund to Conway might be, or is there going to be an E and D refund from Frontier? Well, EMD is only going from the right. Tier. Well, that would be broken so, down into front kind of share eventually. Right. Why would EMD go back to Conway? If it was over, over. Was it, wasn't it over? Yeah. That was well, right now with the numbers that we're working with the state, some of the payments they gave us may have been incorrect. So, Shelly's doing. She's making Thanksgiving dinner because she's doing lots of fixings. Okay, so she's fixing one thing and fixing that thing, but the other side pretty, is. That was pretty cool. I liked it. I liked it. Okay. Um, at the same time, in the in some of the fixings, she did, we discovered. She discovered. Someone discovered that the state gave us too much money at Frontier, and so not only were we not sure that some of the numbers we had already, then also the state has the wrong numbers. Try being in her seat. In Quit the change all months. your phone numbers. Right. So we chain her to a desk. And um, she's working through it, but we'll, we'll get to the bottom of that. Yeah, because somewhere the po reporting's off. You can't just say, "Here's the money back." Oh, they're going to take the money back. They're, they're, they're oh, I know the they back. are. Yeah. All right. I don't doubt that for a minute. But we spent why, <laughs> why, is it, why is it not that enough? Yeah. So that's what we'll, we'll have. We'll wait till we get that all ironed out before we do rumors and that kind of stuff. So okay, great. All right. No other questions. No, there's nothing. Can't believe there's no no parentheses, no parentheses to discuss. Yeah, um, that'll change. <laughs> yeah. Not by much though. Let's hope not. Okay. It's not the Did game plan. Three signatures for the Conway table. There's three lines. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you guys didn't give her a line to sign. I know, but there are some lines on the other things. Bill <laughs> 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 missed his chance. Yeah. No, you know what? I, I, I signed them all again when they, they show up at the select board in two weeks. And I and I signed it all again. And I actually feel more... Con it, I, I always have felt awkward, like, signing, approving the thing that I signed earlier. I, I don't... Well, most times you don't have to sign here if you don't want to. If we have yeah, no, people. that's right. You just have to have a majority sign, so... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Public comment. Well, our public seems to have lost interest in our meeting. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> At it's a beautiful yeah. evening. So we're out there. <laughs> unfinished business. So, what do we have for unfinished business? There's nothing. The unofficial delegate. That's right. Nothing. There was nothing. Nope. Oh, that's not unfinished. Nope. And so that leaves us no discussion items and no votes. Our new business on to the MASC conference. Who's going? Not sure yet. Oh, come on. I'm going. Are you going? Or you're uh, not going because you're having a baby. You going? You're a bum. <laughs> Denise probably got on the party too late. It's never too late. That's true. I'm like contemplating the, a Thursday appearance. Right? Is it in Boston? Did I say? It's on Cape Cod in Hyannis. Uh, and it, there's a lot of great sessions. It's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday if they let you out of work. It wasn't for good for Public fishing. service. Great whites. Are you going to? Um, no, the fishing was good. I, that was, I was so sick. Did, did I, did I, that was bad. Anyway. Was bad. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going. So that narrows that down. All right. So we when, need When is the thing that I have to vote at? Um, it's right Friday now. afternoon. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Oh, I meant in the meeting. And so, um, <laughs> again, well, I'm not going to steer people any which way. You can have an official delegate. You can look at the agenda, and you can make, they can trust you to make a decision whether or not you need to attend that session okay. for a proper vote. Because sometimes the agendas are, I mean, they're by voting leadership of people you don't know who they are. You're right. voting, you know, that kind of stuff. So, okay. That would, so that's what I would recommend. I will be. Resolutions. If I you all want to I nominate, will, I will nominate Elaine Campbell to be the MASC MASS Joint Annual Conference official delegate. Can I have a second on that? Second. All in favor? Yes. Yeah. Unanimous. Okay. From the school committee. So do I have to fill this out, or will Donna fill it out and send it in? Do you know Darius? Um. We'll just fill it out. All right. It's, it's your own name. <laughs> I didn't know if there was some, you know, electronic. Has anybody seen a difference between last year and this year? <laughs> <laughs> last year I would say, oh, I'll do that for you, Madam Chair, right away. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Jeez. That's That's Who's the alternate? We don't really have one. No alternate. Okay, that's great. Jeez. All right. Get spoiled after one year. Okay. All right. Uh, safe schools grant. All right. Hey, you guys. Uh, so basically, you got an email from me um, in June regarding that we received the safe schools grant. I'm just passing out my two, three, four, five, my report because my report has a number right in the middle there. Kind of shows you what everybody in the district. You guys have seen it. Give them the. But Conway received Safe Schools Grant, received um, $30,000. That's and, awesome. Um, so basically it's a non-matching grant, so it's just straight up, I don't want to say free money, but um, you know, money from the state to go ahead and improve the securities of the school. And so, um, and overall, between all of our schools, we got over $140,000. That's exciting. Um, and so it's, it's great that we have that, so we'll be... Um, updating the entry system to a key pop system and that really is um so no more keys <laughs> no more keys my key won't work to the school anymore <laughs> you and about the 30 other people have them yeah, yeah. Long ago, right? <laughs> oh i bet you the list is longer yeah. than that yeah. and so the idea obviously with the key pop system is that people who are using the building um after hours or on weekends can have access with keys but they won't be able to come in during prime time when they shouldn't just be able to walk in they get something or speak to somebody or you know that kind of stuff so um that and they're gonna upgrade the camera system as well so we're gonna we do can, a keypad then you can keypad. just because uh, what you do is you tell the next person who tells the next person uh, who texts it to the next person who <laughs> i had a couple kids sixth graders who had figured it out they stand they stand next to the person who goes <laughs> puts the zip code in <laughs> oh, go change it. <laughs> Wrong with it, you know, just right. Right, go to the bathroom, pop to the. You so, so I, I, I do have a couple. So, um, one of the, I, I sent you an email across uh, the, the summer, I, Darius. You responded to it um, about about um, the town closing out uh, all, all old accounts. It used to be the practice. I'm going to get to the point of why, but a little introduction here. Um, that uh, it used to be that if we didn't spend money, if there was a specific warrant article that we did, and we didn't spend that would always just be held open mm -hmm. and the money would be sitting there until we eventually spend it even if it was a year or two years down the road mm -hmm. so because of the many bookkeeping errors in our town we decided not to do that anymore and they're trying to close out accounts every year mm -hmm. so there were two specific warrants um, that we did for building upgrades more not last that. year, but the year before and the year before that. Yeah. And um, my, my belief is that some of those items that were listed in that upgrade we never did and that they're included in this grant. No? Um, so the key fobs were never weren't included. Um, the cameras uh, were included on one of the warrants, and we did do 
those that specific camera. We did one on the back door. These cameras that we're now talking about were not included in that warrant. Um, so we're doing two things, we hope, with this school safety grant. We're hoping to do the key fobs, so that was never on the warrant. And the cameras, which was on the warrant, but we were talking about a backdoor camera. So those are the two things. For the $30,000, I think that's all it's going to get us is, are those two things. And okay. those were not, I know exactly what you're talking about, but those were not on the warrant. Wasn't changing the lock, though, on that warrant at some point? It was. Didn't we change the lock within the last couple of years? We did. Yeah. What was on the warrant was, yeah, it was changing locks wasn't on it, although we did do that. Um, there are things that on the on the warrant still that haven't been done yet. Right. That's, yeah. that's what I was getting It was the air conditioner, right? Remember, she called right? last year, and she was like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. So, so I did... Um, after talking to Darius, I did get both of those warrants held open for at least another year. And I kn there, there is money still in, I believe, both of those. Okay. I don't know if there's any other warrants from before that. Oh. that and, um, th and it was too much of a, it was too much of an ordeal for the bookkeeper to yeah. search like more than two or three years ago. So, um, you're saying you want us to spend some money? Yeah. Problem well, <laughs> well, we can it's, go it's, back and see what we have. We yeah. can look at the town meeting thing to see if there was any other warrants and then try to maybe we can get a hold of Bob and see if those, what his knowledge is on any of them. Um, but the, it's, well, while it's money, you're talking about the grants. The grants are very differently. Okay. We have a grants right. person who controls and so yep. you know, that kind of goes through central office, but... The camera um, was on that warrant, so just not to be confused, this is, we're talking about um, live camera now. Like, you could go back and look what happened 7 p.m. last night. <coughs> the camera that the warrant did was just the back door so that Laura, when someone buzzed, Laura could actually see who was at the back door. Hmm. That one was on the warrant, so that was the, this is more of a, you know, something happens, we can look it through the camera and see. So I, mean, I guess p part of it is just finding out what we have still in town money that's yeah. been voted and approved. I believe I still have that list of what, yeah. If I don't brought, carried it with me to every meeting last year, but I, I, so I'm sure I have that list. And it, so to answer your question, yes, I do want you to spend money. Yes. Yeah. So Denise, you following us? We, we voted things at town meeting, so that money, may, now that we have this grant, we may be able to allocate that. Although it might have to go back before the town to be reallocated. A lot of those care categories be were a little, little general, though. So, um, yeah. Um, and and then as part of that, like we we up until last year, we we had Bob Lesko coming here every year, and he would do he would have a checklist for the school, and just like he did for Frontier with you know number ones, number twos, and number threes, we would have, and then we would just lop off a few things at the top and whatever else we think we could afford. The same thing, we're calling it a capital plan, but so with capital expense plan, <coughs> expense exactly. plan so Thank you. we will have the exact same thing done this year. So with, that's uh, Bill. With to Mr. Siz? Nope, that's athletic director. Oh, yeah, the new guy. New Sorry. guy, Bill Hilder. So he is, yes, he's building in three five-year plans so we can see what's coming down. And so when we have money, we know the next thing is on the list. But he's running off of Bob's plan, so not that must be tough to get up to speed with all Bob, the school. Bob had good lists of the different yeah. things and, and, you know, going through it just, they, they change order of priority as, yeah. you know, you can see something that's going to break right. down in the next five years and then a year later it's broken. And right. then you're like, oh. Well, well, water was kind right. of important. Weather was a good one. Water. water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, our, our water tank chewed up all of our Bob Lesko time last year, so, yeah. you know, it was pretty much it. But we already discussed the water's perfect now. Which I, anyway, on to the next thing. Okay. Um, so do you, you don't want to go to your report yet. We'll stay on discussion of settlement agreement between Conway School Committee and the that executive. So that's, exa I would, I would ask to put that at the end. Okay. And then we, because you're going to go in there and maybe perhaps take action and vote afterwards. So okay. So take care of all the other business and then do that at the end. Okay. Policy KHC. Dissemination of information. Um, so basically, um, our way we do policies is that you get it once for reading, then we vote on next month. So you have plenty of time to yeah. think about it, ask questions, and digest it. But this policy is th is basically to summarize it. Um, currently, the practice is that outside um, nonprofit agencies can come in with 
flyers to be handed out to classes, to be shoved in backpacks, and be sent home um, to be either digested or recycled. And so uh, we want to move away from flyers being from outside organizations being sent home in backpacks and allow them to be scanned and sent home as part of the principal's report. Oh. So that we don't, are, we're thinking environment, we're also thinking it's a hassle for teachers to get another flyer that goes in, yeah. you get these stacks of them um, and that kind of thing. Um, the, the, it's written in a way, when you go through it, that there is still plenty of um, discretion by the superintendent and the building principal to, if the town wanted to do something, or it was the last minute and they feel that there's the need for that paper flyer to go home. I mean, I would say like something about the, you know, the centennial celebration or that right. kind of thing. We want to do a little bit more than just, you know, that can be, a, it doesn't affect school or the PTO if they want to do certain things. Um, they're not considered in this. It's really outside agencies who are um, maybe nonprofits, but they're advertising through us. Yeah. Okay. And it, but and it's, and it's great that they have those programs for the kids. And as I said, the last meeting, you know, um, on the positive note about it, you're getting all the information. You're not reliant on your eight, nine, ten year old to make sure they put that in the backpack and the right. backpack does not get shoved in with the right. under a lunch or you whatever. We'll then get email numbness. And you will get email numbness, but it'll all be there. Yeah. And you can fire through. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is this would be like camp flyers in the spring and things of that sort. Yes. And so I think even in the spring, we were actually even talking about like creating a, a special section with the. We're we talking about something about that, Kristen, mm -hmm. about doing something about just putting them all together. Yeah. So you get them all at yeah. once, so you can kind of go through instead of. That'd be great. A combined file. Yeah. Instead yeah. of getting them in, let them let them know that they're all. Due uh, by a certain date. Due by a certain date. And this year we're being flexible in the first year. It's it's not about a gotcha thing. Who's going to do all that? Somebody's got to scan it in and email it out. Well, right now they have to scan. Any nonprofit has to get approved by me before going out. So they have to scan it into you. And they got to scan it, send it to my secretary, brings it to me. I so sign off on it. Then I go, then, so she can. She's already scanning it. It's, okay. I mean, that's so much easier than making copies. Yeah. Well, we don't make copies. They will deliver, and that's the okay. other side. They'll deliver. So they deliver, and then they put in front of the school secretary. Here's, mm -hmm. I was gonna say 500, but Conway, here's 200 copies. Please distribute the K to. Then thank you. You know, then you gotta break it up, and then you know we used to make them break them up by class, and then, you know it's just it is. Right. Yeah. So, anyway, that's what that's about. Okay. And then the other one is dissection, <laughs> dissection alternatives. These are, as Ben said in the last meeting earlier today, um, these are sanctioned dissections, not the ones that happen on the playground. Um, <laughs> But because it was funny, I had to share it again. Don't get dark. Don't get dark. Yeah, there's a worm or two that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Keep, it's entertainment. You know what I mean? I want to get our ratings up. The, uh, it's mostly secondary that this takes place. But we yeah, like to have our, we like to have our, uh, our policies through. We're basically, um, and, it, and it's what we do now anyways at the secondary level, um, is having alternatives so you don't have to cut the frog open anymore. What? I knew you were going to be upset with this. What the heck? That's funny. And so now you can do a digital, you can do digital ones, and so on and so forth. So they provide digital alternatives. Digital alternatives. Oh my god. Okay. I don't want my vet tech learning stuff with the digital alternatives. Well, they probably wouldn't choose that career then. All right. Um, so we're going to read these and You're reading them now, you're voting them next time. Next yeah. time. Okay. Um, is there more in the on the superintendent's report? Yeah. Yep. You want to go to reports? Yep. We're on to reports. Guys. Yep. You want to go first? Well, okay. Um, I don't have anything else. So we had a great start to the year. Um, students came in happy. Staff came back happy. We had a great first um, staff day as well. Um, Darius already spoke to the Safe Schools and Communities Grant. We were talking about the water is tasting fabulous. The lining was done this summer and tastes great. So we were mandated by the state to provide a breakfast program um, this year. I, I in your packet I gave you the letter or the email that I received regarding it, and I couldn't figure out. After talking to three people, I think I find I, no. I know I finally figured out why we have to serve breakfast. So, typically, schools who are mandated, at least my experience has been that schools that have been mandated to have breakfast 
usually have a high low income population free reduced lunch um, and or receive uh, high ch uh, title one money when those don't always go hand in hand they sometimes do but you know often do but that's not the real reason so we didn't receive any title one money this year and our um, free and reduced population isn't high enough for I, so that I would think that we'd have to serve breakfast. So I made three phone calls and I finally have figured out why we have to serve breakfast this year. It's not that I don't want to serve breakfast, I just couldn't figure out why we had to serve breakfast. So what the reason is that the students who are on free and reduced lunch get lunch more often, a percentage more, than children who buy lunch. So uh, let's say today we had pizza, let's say, um, and let's say we served 52 lunches. 40 of those students are students who have free and reduced lunch. 10 were buying, paying students. So we have so, so many, you know, the percentage is so much higher in kids getting free and reduced lunch than paying, that's the reason why we have to serve breakfast. Yeah. So students who are on free lunch receive free breakfast, students who are on reduced lunch receive reduced breakfast, and then paying um, students receive breakfast. Now, of course I want kids to eat breakfast, but one of my big fears was, oh my goodness, we can't solve this lunch bill issue, now we're going to start having a breakfast. Yeah, no issue. kidding. So I sent a very nice letter to the parents for my August update, and I said that we were serving breakfast, and if, if your child's on free, they can get free if they're on just However, if they're buying a breakfast, they have to pay that day. So that has really worked. And of course, if a student came to school and said, I want breakfast, and they didn't have money, we, I would, we would feed them, but I would then call the parent and say, oh, just a reminder, you know, we, you have to pay when they have breakfast. So I would never turn a child away. But so far, so good with that. Um, just to catch you up, Denise, we end up usually with a pretty high um, lunch balance that's unpaid. So um, we are serving um, on an average of 12 students a day. Um, I mean, we're encouraging kids to go to breakfast, but a lot of kids eat at home. Is it the same menu every day for breakfast? So it changes by week, I think. Right now, we have, we have to offer three. Um, I think it's, I'm sorry, I don't have the details. I know, like we offer wheat bagel, cereal, and a, um, a muffin. Those are the three offerings this week. And then they have to have a fruit, and then they have to have milk. So they have to take all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of kids are getting cereal. Um, but Do they come into the school before school So opens? I have an, a couple IAs on duty at 8.50. The kids don't come in until 8.30. Right. But, um, I have a couple IAs because um, they have to be here at 8.15. So they have breakfast duty. A couple have breakfast duty, and I have someone having outside duty. So if a bus pulls in, they're going to the bus, and they say, even if it's not 8.30, if anyone's having breakfast, come on with me now. Or if kids are standing outside, if anyone's having breakfast, let's get in. So we try to get as many kids in as before 8.30 as we can. And then we have um, a bus that comes at like 8.35, and then we just bring the kids, whoever wants to have breakfast. Mm -hmm. And the teachers have been great. Some teachers are saying, bring it back to class. They can just eat it while we're getting ready for the morning. And some teachers say, oh, just let them eat down there, you know. And the kids have been great about it. They're not dilly-dallying or anything, so it hasn't interrupted no, hours or anything. Yeah. This program has not added any staff hours with our current... How is that possible? Right, so <coughs> it hasn't because it's a, it's bagel... Jeannie's here then in the morning, and I have a, an IA, I have IAs that work for breakfast and, you know, do the scanning or whatever. So it's really Jeannie per getting bagels, muffins, cereal out, and that's it. So we haven't added any hours. Kristen, are most people using the K-12? What did you say? With the online payment plan? Uh, no, we still have a high number that um, are, ne we have, I'd say 50-50. We thought that would help with the, but it didn't help. What helped last year was phone calls, you know, but I hate that role. I hate playing bill collectors with the families. It's just, it's a terrible role. Mm -hmm. I just hate it. It's it's, one way to look at it, though, is it's so much better than just sending like letters from the lawyer saying we're I taking know. you to small claims court, and that's the I alternative. So it's just you have the re like, this relationship with the family, you know, yeah. and then you have to call them. And, and 
We could have a school committee volunteer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, we can barter. Make those kids dissect a frog and I'll make all the frogs. Right, right. Yeah, that's the cash. Uh, or we could send them, as we were talking about, they could send them home with a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Pay your bill. Pay your bill or they're going home with a bunny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looking on the website, do we need to update our handbook to include breakfast or no? And do we need to post the breakfast choice along with the lunch menu? Or yeah, no? we, we wanted to get through um, a couple of weeks to okay. see if we even had um, any kids who were right. interested in breakfast. So, yes, we're going to get a menu up. And um, that new handbook should be up. Um, but, but you don't really need to post breakfast, do you? Because there's three well, choices, and either way, they're going to yeah. need breakfast, right? Uh, but but this is something the state just writes you a letter and says you have to do. Yeah, and I couldn't. And, like but, I couldn't. But they send you a letter saying this is our, our so you're this an agreement your your agreement number six, but there's no agreeing. You just have I to just do it. I just got this out of the blue, and so I it's thought it's the it Department would, of Education that uses words without. Regard to what the actual wrong. meaning of those words yeah, is. We, yeah. I thought it was incorrect. I called. I was like, "This well, can't. This has got to be incorrect." I, I, I mean, what's yeah, at the same time, they took away our Title One money. So explain yeah, at the same time, we lost ten thousand well, somewhere around there in Title One money. In Title so One, Title One money is based on uh, the, the handbook that's online has the old 2018-19 school committee members. So. 18-19. Oh, so you mean for this year? So, uh, so last year is. It was no, a I guess no, when, I, when I click the link on on our school website, yep. it the link goes to the. And it also has Louisiana. Yeah. Oh yeah, so this year you mean this year it hasn't been updated like since right. September. Right. If I go. Yeah. No, right, yeah. But right, if I go here and you click school handbook, it's got last year's. Yeah, so, right, we have not gone in to write. That's okay. You know what, we just finished that ha handbook in June, so to be honest with you, as we were falling over, I was so up to date, I didn't even, until you brought it up, I'm like, oh, check that off the list, we did the whole handbook. Okay. I, I know we have to update it annually, but we just finished it in June, so it's like, yeah, there are changes, yes, you're right. There you go. Okay. Okay, and then, um, Quickly, we'd meet the teachers' night, which was great. We had about we had seventy six percent of our families. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Um, so our MCAS scores are out, but they're embargoed, so we can't share those yet. But um, hopefully by the next meeting, we'll also be doing our NIWA. And uh, we've talked about this last year, but just in case people have forgotten, we do have a shared nurse position now because Meg Birch is the nurse leader for the district. Two point five days. And we have Sarah with us um, the other 2.5 days. She's wonderful. I think it's been a seamless um, transition. Um, Sarah had 28 visits to the nurse yesterday, so the kids are yeah. having a seamless transition. Oh They're goodness. not afraid to go to the nurse. Oh <laughs> you yeah. have to make wow. sure that right thing. I don't know if she saw 28 kids or 28 documentation, so it might have been the same kid three times. times. But you sort of watch for that to make sure the kids are comfortable. All right. They're doing great. Um, and um, technology update, our fourth and fifth grade got uh, new smart projectors. We're going to try those out and see how we like those. And um, all the teachers, all the teachers in the school got new, received new document cameras. We have added some new iPads and Chromebooks. We're in great shape for the technology, really great shape. And then last, but the team. Beat donations. I don't know if people have heard this, but Channing Beat, uh, no, we were talking about this before, Channing Beat closed. Yeah. Um, 
And so they invited us down to, I mean, you can't imagine the office supplies and school supplies, and we took everything. They delivered it, we took everything. So next year, our, uh, we had already done our order this year for those kinds of things, but next year I can't imagine where you guys put in. The number of people in this town without jobs now because of that. I'm very sad, yeah. That building's beautiful, I was saying, too. I've never been in there. But that's it. And was this leadership team just oh, for right. us to yes, read about? Oh, right. Yes, I'm sorry. No, I was rushing through. Um, right, so we have a great leadership team. What's great is this: the school is so small, so, you know, last year it's, okay, well, um, let me know if you want to be on the leadership team, and every single classroom teacher signs up, to, which is great. And um, they do just really great work. I, I always say this, but um, this is just a school where the teachers are doing a great job, but they always just want to get better. They always want to improve. You know, I bought them each four books this year that we're going to be working on. It was like, you know, giving a kid, a, you know, a toy for Christmas. They were so excited about it. They can't wait to get started on it. Yeah, I got a, I have a, I love it. I have an intellectual geeky staff. It's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> and, um, so I'm excited about that. We did some of our best work through that instructional leadership team, just looking at data and kids and how kids are doing and individual kids and um, you know, just moving the school forward. And again, they never stop at, oh, we're good enough. Never, ever, ever. It's always, okay, how can we make this better? How can we get better with this? How can we do this? Which is great. And it's so um, energizing for me as a principal to have that kind of staff. Well, and how, you know, you can reach every kid with different teaching techniques or mm -hmm. styles or, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, always wanting to Not learn and grow. And this is how we do it. You know. No. No, somebody said to me, I think it was Rick Gifford said, what's great is every year you start a new job. Mm -hmm. Every September you start a new job. You have a new class, you have new needs, you have new strengths, you have new areas of improvement, you have new growth points that you want. And I thought that was a great way of putting That's it. Awesome. Yeah. You don't stay stale, you don't stay the same. Right. So, excited cool. about that work. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Darius, would you like to go now? Yep. <coughs> well, Mary, we're here. Um, we also, first great opening of the school. Yay. Um, we are still in negotiations with the teachers. We'll talk a little bit about that in the executive session, um, but we are in mediation now. We have a, we had one date on the 5th, and we have a next date on October 10th. But details will follow later. Um, the superintendent evaluation you did in June um, is going to be discussed by the chairs. At, uh, there's a chair meeting on the 24th. And then we'll bring it to the joint meeting in October so we'll be able to do that together. Um, we talked about the Safe Schools Communities Grant. Email addresses for the uh, for the committee. Um, we, we, we talked about this, I'm not sure if we talked about it in this, in this uh, committee, but Frontiers talked about it before that um, school communities really should have a school email address so that things are archived. And this was you know kind of brought to my attention for a group new members who went to the, the MASC training. Um, and so I have them all set up, ready to go. What we can do now, which we couldn't do a couple of years ago, which will make it easier and easier, you can have your email forwarded to another address. So you don't have to always log in to see what the next latest and greatest agenda. Um, and as I kind of said, we don't do a lot of email communication as a committee. Um, it's mostly just letting agendas and, and that kind of stuff being sent out. But um, I will be sending you a um, email address. If you wish to opt out, it'll be your decision to opt out of it. You'll still the address will be active, but you'll have to tell me not to remove your personal one. Just note that by law we have to archive all our emails. So if you're not archiving at home, you could you're taking that liability on yourself. So, <clears throat> but you can have it forwarded. So if you have a Yahoo address and I send out the agenda, it goes to your Yahoo address. And you're like, oh, I meant to ask my question. You just have to make sure you log in. <coughs> To your official email to uh, to do school business. So you'll be getting those tomorrow since I've already um, was waiting for the meeting to let you know it was coming so you don't say what the heck's going on here. It's a, it is like a Gmail school. It's a account. school account. Yeah. Yep. But so it works like a Gmail account. It's a Gmail account. Yeah. We have we have forwarding to your main account. Yeah. yeah. We have to set it up. But yeah. Uh -huh. um, and we'll send you directions on how to do that. It's really easy. Yeah. We What we couldn't do before is we couldn't create accounts without logging into the server, you had to be on site in order to do it. Now we have the ability to do that. So nicely timed that we kind of address both things at once. And then um, 
the last thing is just a frontier thing is that the, just keeping an eye on the, the improvements down there. Um, it did finally get voted through at the end of June, um, and we're waiting for the bonding to be approved by Bond Council um, for the projects at Frontier. The Bond Council is actually named Lock Lord. Yep. When would Sounds like the name of a pump band. When, um, on that, it depends. So we'll get the approval to then take, go to get debt. We then would have to choose, because over three years and most of the projects have to happen when school's not in session. So we're going to have to kind of prioritize, start doing bidding, and so over three years we'll be incurring that debt. And so nothing would actually happen before July 1 of this of the coming year. Okay. So it won't be on the assessments. It won't even be on the assessments for the upcoming town. I hate to say it that way. Don't mean to stress Bill. Bill right. But the upcoming town stuff in the spring will be the following year. Okay. We can get that. We got that. <clears throat> Once your budget through last time, there ain't nothing we can't do. Yeah, that's true. Uh, who is our collaborative rep now? That is me. Oh, have you gone to a meeting? Is that a report? Good. So, no report yet. The first meeting is September 25th. Cool. Awesome. When is it next month? September 25th. I just drove by there the other day. Yeah. They, you, there's some cool stuff that goes on. So yeah. That'll be yeah, they alternate the meetings between uh, Greenfield and Oh, the, tra at the yeah, I went to one up there once at the so, transportation station or whatever. They, yeah. Yeah, so the first one is up there. In the, cool. Uh, they're Great. every other month. All righty. Uh, so I think that is it for everything but executive session. Um, so... I keep this meeting open. I need to. Who's going to vote us into executive session? We got a motion to go into executive session and to adjourn immediately after returning into a right, public session. Right, that's a trick about that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Can I ask you something? On the minutes that Donna gave me, the template that says Denise Storm, is, does anything need to be done with Denise? I just want to make sure that this is just oh, getting, wow. getting her trained up. That's okay, I it. wasn't sure if they were a proper right, welcome. I think a proper welcome was sending her to the wrong school, making her drive up the hill. Yeah, and you passed the test. That's yeah, yeah. That's a problem right solving. There. She's smiling Excellent. as usual. <laughs> yep. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we didn't miss something. So Sorry. you're going to executive session for two items: one to approve minutes of previous executive sessions, the other one is to discuss in the okay. collective bargaining. But you are going to return to open session for a vote. Okay. I hope. Okay. And I can't determine what you're going to do, but that would be okay. the logical thing based on our discussion. So then we don't want to adjourn immediately because we want to come up for a vote. Right. Okay. okay. So a motion to go in executive session? Yes. Second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Roll yes. call. Yeah, you do a roll call vote? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Do we have to kick anybody out? <laughs>